Can SoFi reach $15 price target in 2025? That's the topic of this video. I'm going to talk about three reasons why it's very unlikely. The first reason is SoFi's valuation is too rich. As you can see on the screen, the current PE ratio is about 100 and the forward PE is 47. So if they get to $15, the forward PE will be more than 60 and that's not justified for the kind of business SoFi has. Another metric that we can look at is price to book and that's about two for SoFi. Usually price to book of one is justified for banks since SoFi is growing 25 to 30 percent year over year. Maybe we can pay 1.5 but not two. And this price to book of two is at $11 price, right? At 15, it's going to be even more. So the valuation is too rich. In addition, SoFi's balance sheet is also not too great. As you can see on the screen, the cash and cash equivalents are 2.35 billion and the debt is 3 billion. So that's not a super balance sheet. The second reason is the technology platform so far has been a dud because they spent more than $2.3 billion to acquire these at a price to sales more than 10. As you can see on the screen, for the tech platform, the revenue growth rate was 14%. That's like low teens percentage, but the profit contribution only is growing by 2%. Let me show you another snip where I have highlighted the revenue in 2023. That's about $352 million. And in 2024, it looks like they cannot cross $380 million. So that's teens percentage growth. That's not too great when you are already at a low revenue, right? When your revenue is under 1 billion, you should be growing at triple digits if you have a value proposition, but that's not happening with SoFi technology platform. And also the contribution margin is 30%, which is terrible. Usually tech businesses have contribution margin close to 70, 80%, right? So if your contribution margin is 30%, your net margin would be significantly low. So it doesn't feel like a software business and therefore cannot command a software multiple. So for Wall Street to appreciate this as a tech business, we need a very high contribution margins and it's not happening at the moment. And it may happen that they may get a big client in 2025 and I get reminded of the South Park episode where there is Scott Malkinson and Butters, they go to George R. R. Martin's house and they inquire about the dragons when they're coming in Game of Thrones. And I have the similar analogy here. They say that there's a big client coming, but that's not happening since three years. And also, even if they get a big client, the margins will be so low. We are already witnessing the case of Marketa, which is in the same business as Galileo, experiencing this with Square. Because Square is a big client, they are squeezing the margins of Marketa. So the same thing will happen with Galileo as well. There's nothing special about this business, so the margins will be low. And finally, there is uncontrolled dilution. As you can see on the screen, in 2021, when they went public through a SPAC, they had 527 million outstanding shares. Today, they have over a billion. So almost double the number of outstanding shares. And most of this was spent on the technology platform, which is a dud. I have two snips to show. One is when they acquired Technicis, they paid $1.1 billion. Pretty much all transactions, all transaction is stock transaction and Galileo was paid 1.2 billion. So despite spending 2.3 billion dollars, the tech block from revenue is supposed to grow low to high teens percentage and the contribution margin is terrible. So because of all these three reasons, I feel $15 is a stretch in 2025. As mentioned in my previous video, I stick to my $16 price target in 2027. That seems like a reasonable price target for SoFi. So I would not be excited for 2025 for SoFi. In full disclosure, I do own 500 shares of SoFi at $6.5. So if it gets more than $15, I would be happy. Also, I have more than 20 calls at a strike price of 15. So I would be very happy if SoFi crosses $15, but I'm being realistic. I don't think they can get to $15 in 2025. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.